People point. say you wanted to be black. Yeah, that's what I was like, you. All the time. Yeah, all I'm, the time. I would figure that. All the time. And, you know, I wanted to do something to differentiate myself from the last white rapper. And at that time, it was Vanilla Ice. To the extreme, I rock a mic like a vandal. Light up a stage and wax a chump like a candle. Dance. Dance. Mm -hmm. that boom. Who, left a, who left a lot of bad taste in people's mouths. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Eminem hadn't come out yet. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I wanted to go back to, you know, growing up. When you were growing up and you, you're being introduced to this type of music, um, how many white boys you saw listening to this music and really following it the way how you were? So what was really unique about my situation is uh, we lived in a nice looking house, mm -hmm. right? Uh, the factor of that is my dad was unemployed. He got laid off from Coca-Cola when he was 55 years old. Nobody's hiring a 55 year old maintenance right. man. My mom was a stay at home mother. Mm -hmm. She, her job was taking care of the kids. And when I grew up, I knew what food stamps were. Mm -hmm. I knew what government cheese was. You know, we might have looked like we had a nice house, but we heated our house with our oven. Mm. I didn't understand that that was a, a poor quality until I went right. to school and somebody was capping on somebody about you so poor, you heat your house by the oven. I was like, wait a minute, that's what we do. Wait, what are you talking about? You know, but at the time, I went to a predominantly black high school. Mm. You know, Westbury, we tease and we call it the future prison for, you know, inmates, right? Mm -hmm. But it was just a predominantly black school. And a lot of the friends that I had were, were black, you know? And so for me to be in that situation, it was just what my surroundings were. Mm. It wasn't, I was trying to be black or want to be, I just enjoyed rap music. You know, my brother had listened to, you know, Run DMC, the Fat Boys, the Beastie Boys. That was all down his pipe, you know? When it came to my turn, I was, you know, listening to DJ Screw and Street Military and UGK. And that was my music, 3-2, that was my music. You know, so did growing, people say you wanted to be black? Yeah, did that's what I was like, all the time. Yeah, all I, the time. I would figure that all the time. And, you know, I wanted to do something to differentiate myself from the last white rapper. And at that time, it was Vanilla Ice. To the extreme, I rock a mic like a vandal. Light up a stage and wax a chump like a candle. Dance. Corrupt the speaker that boom. Who, mm -hmm. left a, who left a lot of bad taste in people's mouths. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Eminem hadn't come out yet. Dear Slim, I wrote you, but you still ain't calling. I left my cell, my pager, and my home phone at the box. And so at the time of by prescription and Eminem, you know, DJ Screw and I had plans to be the Dre and Eminem of the South. Go on mm. tour with all that and do all the support and everything else like that. Unfortunately, um, he passed away and we weren't able to, you know, fulfill that dream. But when you grew up in that area, you didn't think twice about our skin color. We were just, we were just boys. We were, you know, homies or whatever. So nobody really, you know, separated the black white thing until I started working the radio angle. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. now it's a different story. Now, right. does he get his record played because he's privileged? You know, what's going on with this, you know, type situation. And so, you know, you get a lot of reverse racism, reverse racism sometimes, not all the time, but we'd go to the National Black Programmers Convention. You know, we were the only white people there, you know, all the time. People always either thought we were the cops <laughs> or like, like, what those white guys doing over here? But you I know? had a question, but with you doing that and seeing so many things, do you agree with that term that um, because you are white, it gets you into certain doors when a black person might not be able to? Oh, totally. Totally. And listen, when it came down to the Fed case, I asked where my white privilege was at. I was like, you wait did a minute. not. Yeah, I was serious because I'm told all the time, oh, you're good. Don't worry about no long sentence. Y'all, You guys are going to do 36 months. Y'all ain't, ain't got to worry about no time. Listen, sentencing came. I got four points for being a leader organizer. Two Wait, points. We, we gonna go there, but I want I want I want to. We gonna go there. Did but not I want to. Did not I, exist. I did not exist. I it, was, it separated the poor and the rich, and that was it. And I didn't have enough money. Let me ask you okay, this. Okay, got it. When it came to your music, evading the N word. Well, I've seen it. I, there's other guys that have come up on the scene that right. use the N word, and and some some of them, you know, regret doing it. And it was white guys, right? How do you open this? Uh, I Just don't know. Pull yeah. it down. Just pull, pull it down. down. Okay, there it is. So, um, what were your thoughts? How did you exclude? Were you ever challenged with those facts of the N word, or did you ever people come at you wrong about that, or around you, whether it was white or black? 
So you, it could be an all white crowd that did. So it. even though I actually hold a card, right in the hood, I got my hood pass. <laughs> I don't use that word, right? That word uh, evokes uh, a lot of hatred, right? If I use that word, it's really bad, right? If we're in a surrounding and we're friends and you're using it towards me or whatever, I understand. But I will never, ever say that. That word won't come out of my mouth in music or around friends. I don't own that word. I don't believe in that word. It's not something I grew up on. A lot of my friends were black growing up. And so that just wasn't even a thought. When I How was hard is it, though? Because when you're listening to rap music, you hear that word thrown around that's a lot. that's the only word you can rhyme, you need to go get a rhyming dictionary and you need to go get you a vocabulary and come and see me. If that's the only two-syllable word you can think of, then you're in a bad situation and you need to get your game up. Yeah, I, like I said, I just, it was uh, I, other people that were doing it that were right. Um, and it caused a big friction. Um, and the thing is, is like, I get it, but I'm so old school, I could never, you know, I could never get on with that. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I, I heard people saying, oh, he be, he was around this, or they've been around these type of people. And you just you just said to the fact, no, nah, that still doesn't give you the right to do that. Not at all. Especially with, the, what, with what everybody came through. And Jay-Z seemed to think we use it because, it takes the power away from, you know, cause I say it a lot, I ain't gonna lie to you. But at the end of the day, I feel some type of way, you know, when somebody that's not of color or, or even Hispanic, you know what I mean? Like I've been around and I'd be like, man, I, I should I stop using that word? Because I don't want, if I don't want to hear it, I shouldn't maybe even be saying it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So that's a good attitude to have, but, this, but, but the truth of the fact, it's part of the culture, yeah. right? It's how, it's how friends greet each other, right? Yeah. Is it wrong? Probably. But what you interpretate a word and what you think the meaning is, it's how you receive it, right? Exactly. How much power do you put into those words, right? Yeah. Some people don't like the word idiot or, you know, nowadays you'll, you, you can't retard it. You can't say retard or you can't say faggot, you know, mm -hmm. but growing up, those were just words we just used. There was no real meaning behind it. But nowadays you'll get canceled for it. You know, you said the N word or you did that. And it's a whole big blown out of proportion deal. Listen, mm -hmm. it's part of the rap culture. I don't use it. I don't prefer anybody, you know, listen, if you, if you use it in conversation, I'm not going to hold your feet to your fire and say, listen, I appreciate our friendship, but would you please stop using the N word around me? It offends me. Come on. You know, like get real. Right. But it's part of the culture. And that's what it is. Yeah, I I know I I I wanted Willie D to come on the show, and I heard him say, "Don't use that word." He was telling uh, somebody he was interviewing. I said, "Maybe that that's the reason I ain't got Willie D yet because I say it a lot." That <laughs> you know, the funny thing well, I hate I I don't like don't to like listen, it, but I, I, like, I say it a lot. Being from somewhere else where people don't really say that word a lot, right? And then to come here and hear, cause even when I came here and I heard people saying that black person or that white person, I'd be like, Shh, she didn't like it. Don't say that. It, it, but it's become a thing where people don't understand what you're saying unless you say that. You know what I mean? So it's like, not to say you, you adopt to it, but you know when and where to use it, so to say. But right. back in the days when, when George Jefferson them, they would use all kind of words, him and, him and uh, Archie Bunker. <laughs> getting excited. I am getting mad. Listen to Louise. That's what happens when you mix black and white. Ten more seconds, he's gonna call her nigga. You know, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and you couldn't even get those plays today. Ten more seconds, he's gonna call her nigga. Listen to that. I ain't used that word in three years. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't hear those today. No. Like, no, they'd cancel you instantly. <laughs> like, for real. For real, for real. Archie Bunker, yeah. He, he would get no play. Yeah, sorry, he gets no play. Yeah. But, you know, like I said, you know, there's friends. They use it in conversation. Conversation, you know, I, I just stay away from it. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.